Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today is the second installment of my Battle of the, and today we have the nudes. So I have quite a lot of nude lipsticks so I'm just gonna jump straight into the video so it doesn't get too long. And the first shade that we have is this one right here which is from Chanel and it's one of the Rouge Coco Shines in the shade Boy. So this one is a very very nice kind of light browny pink nude. I don't have anything like this uh, in my collection and I really really enjoy this. I don't reach for this all the time because it is such a sheer formula but if I want something really light kind of slight tinted on my lips I do reach for this one. Uh, this one is also really really moisturizing. It's just a beautiful lipstick and I absolutely adore it. So as I don't have anything like it I'm gonna keep that one in my collection. Moving on to the next one we have uh, one of my MAC lipsticks in the shade Honey Love. So this one is one of their matte lipsticks and it is stunning on my lips. It's one of the kind of newer matte lipsticks that I own and I would say that the tone of this is kind of similar to the last lipstick although the formula is very different because it's a very opaque matte formula whereas the other one is very sheer, very shiny. I love this lipstick so much and I've actually worn this quite a lot since I bought it. I think this is the perfect kind of nude to pair with a lot of bolder looks or if I just want something really really kind of nude that doesn't wash me out on my lips. I love Max matte formula and I absolutely love this lipstick and it is another one that I'm keeping. So moving on to the next one we have one of my NYX uh, soft matte lip creams in the shade London. So apart from the name which uh, is kind of nostalgic to me because I do live in London I also love this lipstick. I know these may look really similar on lip um, this one and the last one and they are quite similar but this one definitely has more yellow, beigey undertones to it rather than pink. And yeah, it is another lipstick that I love. I love these lipsticks and the formula of them are amazing. I reach for them actually all the time. And this one is getting a little bit dry because I do use it all the time. Um, yeah, it's just something that I reach for when I don't really know what else to wear. And I know it always performs. So yeah, this is another lipstick that I am keeping in my collection. Although it is quite similar to the last one. And I had completely forgotten to show you the swatches. So there we have the Chanel Boy lipstick, the MAC Honey Love, and then lastly, NYX London. And as you can see, they are quite similar, but they all are a bit different. Next up, we have a lipstick from uh, Colourpop, and this is one of their Matte X formulas in the shade Hotline. So this one is, again, kind of in the same colour family. However, this is slightly darker and slightly more pink again. Um, it is another one that I love and it's absolutely no secret that I do adore the Colourpop Matte X formulas. Um, again, this is the lipstick that I've reached for a bit, not as much as I would like to. And that's kind of why I'm doing these uh, videos because I want to kind of figure out what I actually love and what I want to reach for more. And kind of declutter everything else that is just giving me too many options. So yeah, this is another lipstick that I love and it is definitely saying my collection, which Spoiler alert, most of my Colourpop Matte X lipsticks will do. And again, there we have the uh, Colourpop Matte X lipstick in Hotline. And again, you can see it is slightly different than the rest. So moving on to the next lipsticks, uh, it's actually two that I want to compare. And the first one out of those is this one right here, which is from MAC. And this one is one of their cream sheen formulas in the shade Pure Zen. So the two that I'm going to show you now are both kind of light, peachy nude lipsticks. They're quite... Uh, pale on me, but they're not too pale in my opinion. Um, this one from MAC is a lovely formula and I do love it. Um, it is beautiful, I love using this kind of shade in the summer. I wouldn't use it too much at this time of year, if I'm honest. Um, and that is kind of given, I'm, I would say, especially since it is so peachy. But yeah, it's a beautiful shade and I think that's all I have to say about this one for now. And then the shade that I want to compare it to, we have the Smashbox B Legendary Lipstick in the shade Famous. Um, and I only have the mini version of this. So this is again a peachy kind of nude. Um, I would say that this one is slightly more opaque and maybe slightly more beige rather than just straight up peach. But swatching them on the lips, as you may see, they are quite similar. So if you followed my lipstick roulette, you know that I adore this formula. The Smashbox Be Legendary lipsticks are beautiful. They're very opaque, very creamy, but they last a really long time. Um, they're also very thin on the lips, which I 
really like and yeah i only have good things to say about these lipsticks and i absolutely love it so showing them on my hand we have them right there so that is the uh, mac lipstick in uh, pure sun and then the special lipstick in um, famous so when it comes to those two i am going to keep one of them and i'm going to declutter the others because i don't reach for this kind of shade enough to keep both of them and the one that i decided to keep is the smashbox one and i'm going to declutter the mac one so that means we have our first declutter so far, but let's move on to the next lipstick. So the next lipstick we have is this one right here, which is from Revlon, and this is one of their matte bombs in the shade Complex. So this one is a lipstick that I've actually used quite a lot again, and um, I love reaching for this, similar to a few that I mentioned before, when I don't really know what to wear. Um, again, this is a peachy kind of lipstick, however this one is matte and it's very different from the last two that I showed you, which is why I didn't really want to compare this one in. Um, I, again, reach for this all the time, it's a fail-safe lipstick for me. Um, I'm not the biggest fan of the scent of these because they have a minty scent and I just don't really like minty scents in my lip products, I don't know why, but other than that I absolutely love these. Um, and this one is definitely my favorite. Um, I'm not sure how many of these I'm kept, but um, yeah, I use this most out of all of my matte bombs from Revlon. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna compare this to the next lipstick before I decide what to do with this, but I probably think you can guess what I'm gonna do with this. And the one I want to compare it to is another lipstick from Revlon. However, this is one of their regular matte lipsticks in the shade Smoked Peach. So this one is a, quite a unique lipstick in my collection, actually. It is definitely more kind of orangey peach than the last one as the name would suggest um but i do feel like they are quite similar in a way um so showing them out on my hand they don't look that similar but wearing them on the lips i think they are and i just think this one is kind of something in between i did reach for a lot but i think that i can kind of get a similar effect using other lipsticks in my collection um and because of that reason as you may have figured i am deciding to declutter this one and keep the revlon matte bomb and again i'm swatching them out on my hand and as you can see in the viewfinder they don't actually look that similar but in my opinion they are quite similar which is why i'm decluttering the revlon smoked peach Another lipstick, which I could probably include in the same kind of comparison, is another Colourpop Matte X lippy stick, and this one is in the shade Upside Down. So this one, comparing it to the other two, are quite a bit lighter, but it actually has the same tone as the Smoked Peach, so it is more peach um than the um revlon matte balm so i love this shade i think it is borderline too light for me sometimes but i don't really have anything else in this shade and i don't really have anything else this light in my collection so i do kind of want to keep it because if you i want something that's really 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 nude on me i would reach for this one or another one which i will mention later um but yeah i absolutely adore this one and it's kind of a, like a warm really nude um peach on me and i absolutely adore it so this is another lipstick that i kind of mentioned that i can get a similar effect to smoked, smoked peach with which is why i'm going to keep this one and there you can have see it on my hands you can see that it's quite similar to smoked peach just a little bit lighter the next lipstick we have is another one of my nyx soft matte lip creams and this one is uh, in the shade athens so athens is more of a um, peachy shade again which is why in this color family however it is definitely more warm toned than the ones that i showed you previously um i think again i could have probably compared this to the other ones but i find it a bit different because of the warmness to it because it does have more pink in it um again i don't have to speak about the formula because i already mentioned that i love it and this shade is really beautiful uh, i don't reach for it as much as i do the london shade but i definitely should because it is a stunning shade and yeah it just looks really really beautiful on the lips so with that one i am going to keep it because i absolutely adore this shade and if i show you that swatch on my hand that is it right there so again it is something that could replace the smoked peach shade so moving on we have three lipstick again that i want to compare and the first one is one of my chanel lipsticks in the shade number 90. so this lipstick is again a peachy kind of nude this one definitely has a sheen to it though since it is in a matte lipstick and i do like this a lot um this lipstick 
You know that I love my Chanel lipsticks in the Roche Allure formula, which this is, and yeah, it's just a stunning shade. Um, I do reach for this quite a lot when I want something, again, peachy on my lips, uh, but want something kind of more moisturizing but still opaque. I reach for this again more in summer because of the shade and because of the formula, uh, but I absolutely adore it, and I did use it quite a few times over the last summer. And the one that is quite similar to that is at YSL lipstick, which is in the shade number 15. Um, again, it is a peachy kind of nude. This one is definitely more kind of pinky though than the last one because that is more kind of a pure peachy orange. Um, obviously still a peach, uh, but this one has, definitely has more pink to it, but they are still quite similar. This one, and again, I adore, and this is such a beautiful formula. I use this all the time when I have dry lips because it is really moisturizing and it's really comfortable on the lips. Um, it doesn't last as long on the lips because it is a sheer formula but it's just worth it in my opinion because they are beautiful beautiful lipsticks. So the last one in the comparison is this one right here which is from MAC and this one is one of their Powder Kiss lipsticks in the shade Scattered Pet Petal. So this one again is a light kind of peachy pink pink color. Um, this one is more matte than the other two, um, and yeah, it's but in the shade kind of range, it is quite similar. Um, this is one lipstick that I think looks beautiful on the lips, and um, it is a little bit on the drier side, uh, but it just has a really, really beautiful formula. I haven't used this too much because it is a relatively new lipstick to me. I did wear it a few times over the summer though, and I do like it. Comparing it to the other th uh, two, uh, I'm gonna show you on my hand now, we have them right here. They're not identical, any of them. But here we have the Chanel lipstick, the YSL, and the MAC. And out of these three, I'm going to declutter one of them, which is going to be the MAC one, actually. Which may surprise you guys, because the other two look more from it, more kind of similar. But the reason for that is because, one, I do have quite a few matte uh, peaches, as you can see. And one simple reason for that is the packaging. I took this traveling, and I don't know what happened with it. I think it got damp or something. But... Can you see the packaging? It just looks really, really disgusting, and it has been like bothering me quite a bit. And I don't think the formula is good enough to keep with that in mind. Um, if it was like an absolutely amazing lipstick that I loved more than any of my other lipsticks, where well, you get the idea, I would probably keep this anyway. But since this packaging is really annoying me and the formula is a little bit too drying for me and I have similar things I am declaring this one and keeping the other two. So moving on I have three lipsticks that I'm going to compare again and the first one out of those is the Clinique lipstick in the shade Melon Pop and this is one of their pop lipsticks. So this one is again kind of on the peachy side but this one is definitely more of a pinky kind of coral nude. Um, this one is a beautiful formula again. I think this is quite similar to the Smashbox B Legendary formula actually. It is really opaque, really lightweight on the lips and it lasts a long time. But it's also really, really creamy. Um, this shade is beautiful. It's again something that I probably wear more in the summertime, but it's definitely stunning. I only have one more of these Clinique lipsticks, but I absolutely love this formula. And yeah, that's all I have to say about this one. The one I'm going to compare it to is this one right here, which is from MAC. And this one is the new shade Angel. So this one is not exactly the same at all, but why I'm comparing these are because um, they're kind of in the same shade depth, um, although this one is definitely more pink. Um, this one is a little bit older in my collection. I've used it quite a bit actually. Um, it was one of my go-to lipsticks for a nude uh, when I didn't have a massive collection. I love this formula still, and I love this shade. It is a little bit too blue toned on me in some settings uh, but I still feel like it's wearable depending on what I pair it with and um, today I have a very peachy blush on so I don't think it goes too well with my makeup today but I can definitely make it work for me although it is a little bit trickier and I don't really know how I got away with this so much when I was younger but who knows I maybe had different practices in makeup then but yeah that's this lipstick and the last one I want to compare those two is with another MAC lipsticks actually, and this is in the shade Hue. So Hue is, again, more of a peachy one, however this is lighter than the other two. Um, they look quite different, all three of these, but it is a, like, like a really light peachy pink, um, and this is a cold classic in the makeup industry, everyone have heard about this. Um, it's 
one of MAC's kind of famous shades. Um, this one is one of the glaze formulas, so it's quite glossy on the lip. Um, and yeah, I don't think I have any other glazes, if I'm honest. Could be wrong, but yeah, um, I don't reach for this that much at all anymore. But it is another one that I've reached for quite a few times in my days. I think I actually maybe have used this, this more than Angel. Let me do a quick comparison. I have used it more than Angel, so I don't know if you can see, but Hue is slightly more used than Angel, but they are quite similar. But I've used both of these a lot in my makeup days. So when it comes to these three, I have them swatched out right here. So that is the Clinique lipstick, we have Angel and then Hue, so um, I think you can just see better there. So they are all very different, I don't, I won't deny that, but I have decided to declare one of them and that is Hue. Which may surprise people and it's <laughs> definitely surprised me, but I used, when I wore it today, I just felt that it was way too light for me and I am in winter. I'm not at my palest because I did go on holiday in September and for some reason I still have some of that tan. Not much of it though, but a tiny bit. Um, but anyway, I just felt that this was way too light for me and I don't really see myself using this much. I have so many other lipsticks now that I think suit me better and I have other things that I reach for when I want a really light nude and this is just too... Yeah, too light in my opinion, so I decided to declutter this one. The other two are definitely staying in my collection though, because I do love them both. Angel, I was a little bit on the fence about. I don't really have any other blue tone pink nudes like that, so I decided to keep that one anyway. So moving on, we have another comparison. This one is uh, Colourpop Lip Lipsticks in the shade She Bad. So this one is actually a little bit broken. It is quite messy to use for me nowadays, but... Um, I still love it. I think it's a beautiful nude and it is kind of actually similar to some of the big ones we had in the beginning. I didn't even try to compare those but this one is more on the pinky side but I think it's quite similar to Honey Love actually. But this is more of the pinky version. Um, I know before when I mentioned the other Colourpop matte lipsticks in um, Upside Down I said that I don't really have anything else that I like in my collection, but I do have that one and I reach for another one if I want a different type of look, and that is the lipstick that I mentioned. Um, and why I kind of have both of them is because this is definitely more of a cool toned light nude, whereas the other one is a very warm, peachy light nude. Um, I used them both. Um, I, it is a bit of a shame that this is so beaten up now, but it just shows that I love it so much. And I don't know if you can see, but the kind of top is, it doesn't wind down anymore because it's just smushed. But I don't mind it. It's still kind of workable. It's not too messy to apply, so I still get use out of it. And this is, I believe, discontinued on Colourpop's website. Otherwise, I probably would buy another one. But yeah, um, this is that lipstick. And I'm going to compare it to one of my Norris lipsticks. Actually, my only Norris lipstick in the shade Raquel. So Raquel is quite similar. Um, I would say that this is slightly more kind of dark and slightly more pink. Um, I absolutely love this. I had it in one of my last rounds of my lipstick roulette. I can't, believe, I can't remember if it's the last one or the second to last one. But I actually hadn't used this before that because it was one of my new lipsticks. And um, I also focused on my lipstick roulette series that I used to reach for it much. But this is a beautiful shade and I absolutely love it on my lips. And I'm so surprised about the formula because it's absolutely stunning. I know NARS kind of re did all of the lipsticks so i don't know if they have this exact formula anymore but if you can find this lipstick or kind of the equi equivalent to this in their current line i definitely recommend this because it's a st stunning stunning shade and the formula is amazing so those two are swatched out right there so you can definitely see that they are quite similar but also um not the same so uh, also like i mentioned i think that those are a little bit similar to honey love or at least the she bad shade is but Anyway, that are those two, and when it comes to those two, I was owing and owing about what I wanted to keep, and I used Satya and I couldn't decide which one I wanted to declutter, so I have decided to keep both of them. I know this is probably not the smartest move, and I should probably declutter one of them, but I used use them both so much now um, that I feel like I want to keep them both, and I know that I'm going to get use out of both. Since the Colourpop one is a bit messy to use now, I actually made um, kind of pan this in the next year or so. I'm not sure yet, but I think that can be how I'll go about it because then I can, this can be my go-to until I use it up and then I can use the other one afterwards. But that is what I've decided to do, so both of them are staying in my collection as of now.
So editing Sophie here, uh, I completely missed to include this lipstick which is Cream Cup from MAC. Uh, as you can see it's a beautiful shade, however this lipstick is getting quite old and it's very very melty now. Um, I would love this lipstick but because it's so old now and it's really hard to apply, I have actually decided to declutter this. Although this was actually my first lipstick from MAC so it's a bit sad but yeah this is leaving my collection. So we only have three lipsticks left, so hopefully we can rush through this. But the next one is one of my Milani uh, lipsticks. Again, only the, the only Milani lipstick that I own, and this is in the shade Matte Naked. So this is quite a unique uh, lipstick in my collection. It's also one of my newer ones. I do love this lipstick so, so much. I think it suits me really well, and the formula of this is so beautiful. It is really matte, um, and it kind of goes on sheer but it doesn't drag like for example the retro mac from mac um it just kind of applies but you just need to do kind of thin layers it is a beautiful lipstick and i definitely recommend this i, I think this will be something that suits basically everyone because this is a darker nude but it looks really nice on me and i think it will look really really nice on darker skin tones as well um yeah i love this lipstick and i'm gonna compare it to the other two before i decide what to do so the next that I want to compare it to is this one right here, which is from Burberry. And this is one of their lip covers uh, in the shade Sepia Pink. So this is kind of a similar shade. Um, it's slightly more kind of pinky mauve than the other one, which is a bit more nudie brown. Um, but they are quite similar. This one is more kind of glossy as well because it is in a matte formula. And... Yeah, um, I don't reach for this too much uh, because the packaging of this is so kind of bulky. It doesn't even fit into my makeup kind of lipstick containers. Um, other than that, it is a beautiful lipstick. It's so nice. Um, it has like embossing on it as well with the Burberry kind of print, which is stunning. For some reason, I don't really know why I don't reach for this because I love the shade. And every time I wear it, I do really, really like it. But for some reason, I just never, ever reach for this one unless I kind of force myself to. Um, but and that's and that's a shame because it is a stunning lipstick. So yeah, that is the second lipstick in that trio that I'm going to show you, and I'm going to show you what I decide to do at the end. And then the last one in that trio is this one right here, which is a matte lipstick from Mac in the shade Can I Sexy. So I think I mentioned that this is one of my favorite nudes. And before I am actually wearing this today. I think it's stunning and it goes with almost every single look that I do um, I have said before that this is what I wanted Velvet Teddy to be uh, on me and I absolutely love this and um, it's a beautiful lipstick It's a beautiful shade. It is kind of more Peachy brown, but it definitely has some kind of pinky tones to it as well Which I think is why it kind of goes with everything and it is a stunning shade. Um, yeah, it is one that I reach for all the time and I think it's absolutely beautiful. So those were the last three lipsticks and I have them swatched out on the bottom here. So looking at them on my hand, you can see they're all, all, they are all different. But I have decided to declutter one of them and you can probably guess which one it is, which is the Burberry lipstick. And I know that's a shame because it is a beautiful shade, but the reason why, or the kind of reason that pushed me over the edge to the declare this one is because I know that my mom is gonna absolutely love this shade. It is something that is straight up her alley and I think she will be so happy if she um, gets this. She's not in, really into makeup and she never buys makeup for herself so I think her having this would probably be something really nice for her. So I am gonna declare this one and give it to my mom um, and then I'm gonna keep the other two. So out of the 22 nude lipsticks that I have, I decided to declutter six, which is about 27%, which I mean, it isn't ideal, but I think it's quite good still. And I think nude is something that I will have a quite hard time to get rid of because they are it's something that goes with a lot of things. I think if you want like a hot pink, you don't need a thousand hot pinks because you don't use them every single day, but nude is something that you can use every single day. So. That's probably why I decided to keep so many, but I did end up having 16 left at the end. So yeah, that was the second installment of the series. I still hope that you're enjoying it. I love that I'm actually downsizing my collection and it is quite hard letting go of things for me. So I'm really proud of myself that I'm able to uh, and it feels so good. Um, yeah, I know that I'm gonna get more use out of my lipsticks doing this because I won't be so overwhelmed with the amount of lipsticks that I have. So yeah, that is it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please give this video a thumbs up. And otherwise, I will see you in my next video. Bye guys!